On the night of August the 1st, two men broke into this house and murdered the owner, Artyom Tereshenko, and his 71-year-old father, Vladimir. Then they set the place on fire. Tereshenko's children, aged 9 and 12, managed to escape and raise the alarm, which is how Irina found out that her brother and father were dead. The children didn't see how they were slaughtered, but afterwards they saw the blood and grandfather covered in blood, and they heard how dad screamed. The two men then continued down the road and stabbed and killed four people in this house too. Alexandra is the sister of one of the suspects, Igor Safonov. He'd just returned from fighting in Ukraine, where he'd been recruited straight from prison by the Russian military, a practice started by the late Wagner boss Yevgeny Prigozhin and continued enthusiastically by Russia's Ministry of Defense. Alexandra thinks he should have got more help. You haven't been free for, say, seven years, and then you're let out. You're broken, plus you end up in Ukraine. Of course, not just for him, but for everyone, there should be some kind of psychological help. Both men are now in custody awaiting trial, but it's an open question whether someone returning from the battlefield, a supposed hero of Russia, will get the sentence that he deserves. Horrific as it is, this is not a one-off. It's not just the men in zinc coffins who are returning home from the front, but now tens of thousands of ex-convicts coming back too. Dangerous men traumatised by war, tearing at the social fabric of the places they're returning to. Three years ago, we were in the Siberian city of Kemrova covering a case of domestic violence which had ended in the murder of 23-year-old Vera Pechtelova. The police had come too late, and the audio recordings of her screams as her neighbours made repeated, desperate calls had horrified the country. In court then, her uncle had sat just metres away from his niece's killer. Now he knows that Kanyos is a free man serving somewhere in Ukraine. He murdered her with extreme cruelty, and now he will have been trained to fight. He was attacking Vera for three hours. I just can't imagine what will happen if he comes back. Domestic violence has long been a major problem in Russia, and the authorities tend to look the other way. Now add to that a generation of war-scarred men, where the state does precious little to deal with their trauma. The village of Derevyanoye does not seem a place for mass murder either, but war unleashes all manner of unintended consequences. We're from a good family. This is not how he should have died. And they burned him. They also burned him. I still can't even bury my family. Irina says her faith in God helps her get through each painful day. That is just as well, because there are few signs that the state will step up to protect its people from Russia's worst, most violent offenders. Dana Magne, Sky News, Derevyanoye in northern Russia.